Hello guys, this is Sphinx the Ninja Sea And uh, today I'll uh, try to complete the Stanley story but I won't do it the right way, I mean how the narrator is telling me to do, I'll do it by myself. All of his co-workers were gone. You don't what say did it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Okay. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Probably. Hmm. When Stanley came no. to a set of two what? open doors, he entered the door on his left. So I'll go to the door on the right. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, yeah sure. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yeah, Stanley cool. simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, I'll go ahead. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> okay, so I'll go this way. Uh, whoa! I don't have a ship like in Minecraft. So I'll... Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For what? For who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside, to let her back into your life. Who is she? She's been waiting. Who? Who? Who is she? Who? Who? Well, that was creepy. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Okay. If you can... Hmm. Then now what? What's happening now? Oh, Lord. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, oh, come on. Oh my god. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Lord. That was creepy. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh. Press 8 on your keyboard, okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. What? Now he's coming back to work. What? One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press two. Okay. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. What? Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Uh, and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press B. Press I. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk, 
to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Okay. The thought excited him terribly. Press F. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Okay. Down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And okay. down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Okay. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. No. How could there possibly the be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. See. And I'm trying to tell him this that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. I won't. So, I'm not pushing the button. <laughs> and, um, what I should do now? He said to not do it, and I don't do it. Okay, I'll do it. You see, can you just not hear me? <laughs> How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. <laughs> and I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe. Maybe this time you will. Maybe. And I tried again. Did he die? Stanley pushed a button. <laughs> no. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. No. And I tried. I... I... <laughs> I died. <laughs> no, that, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm Stanley. I can... Oh, God damn it! I'm back here. Okay, I'll try again. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Uh, Minutes? A lot. Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Okay. Hmm. I have, um... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh, he way. entered the door on his left. I did. Okay. So I'll do... Until the next decision. At the next decision, I'll Yet do it there was wrong not a again. Single person here okay. No. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope, I'm going down. <laughs> Let's see. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in okay. such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? I don't All know. because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. 
all of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment but for no Wait. reason at all none of it made any logical sense what? What? and as stanley pondered this he began to make other strange observations for example why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down i don't know why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went i don't know and for that matter these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar were they simply repeating no Inception. said to himself this is all too strange this can't be real and at last he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue he just hadn't found the words for it okay. i'm dreaming Hello. he yelled this is all a dream oh what a relief stanley felt to have finally found an answer an explanation his co-workers weren't actually gone he wasn't going to lose his job he wasn't crazy after all why are all the doors repeating i suppose i'll wake up <laughs> soon i'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons i may as well enjoy this while i'm still lucid maybe so he imagined himself flying and began to gently <laughs> float above the ground then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field and it too appeared it was so much fun Please and don't Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? I don't now know. the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, <laughs> who found it particularly strange. <laughs> this is the... I'm dreaming about a voice <laughs> describing me thinking about how it's describing my okay, thoughts to... and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams the truth was that of course this was not a dream wait how could it be was stanley simply huh? deceiving himself believing that if he's asleep he doesn't have to take responsibility okay, this is for himself? really my fuck i don't understand he is as awake right now as he's <sighs> ever been in his life now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. Okay, so he true. closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the okay. press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Okay. Let me wake up, Let he me thought wake to up. himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. Okay. I want my apartment and my wife and you my don't have a wife don't have a, all I have want a job is my life yeah. exactly the way it's always been okay my life is normal i am normal no you're not you're not everything will be fine maybe or maybe not i <laughs> am okay no please no jump scare no oh fuck stanley began screaming please someone wake me up my name is stanley i have a boss i have an office i am real please just someone tell me i am real i must be real i must be can anyone hear my voice who am i who am i and everything went black <laughs> okay. this is the story of a woman named mariella <laughs> no Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, 
and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. The rest of her life. So what's the no time for this? Purpose. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. I guess that's me. That's Stanley. But what's the purpose of presenting that woman since she doesn't make any logical... Um, I don't know... She's not from my story and why the fuck am I back here? <laughs> oh my god, this this is really creepy. and Not normal, man. Okay, guys. I guess this was the second episode of uh, Stelly's Parable. And I guess there will be the last one will be the third episode. I'll make one more in which I will do the other wrong decisions. And hope it will, I don't know, be interesting. Since, I guess, <sighs> never mind. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate, subscribe if you want to see more episodes of me, share wherever you want to let your friends know about my gameplays, and that's it. See ya in the next episode, guys.